All right, guys, over the last couple days, I've bombed out quite a bit of uh, little things that needed to get done. Let me see if I can remember over the last three days what I've done. So I installed a windshield washer fluid bottle and I reverted back to uh, a larger coolant tank that I can see. So that way I have a visual clue that, you know, the coolant or the overflow or the expansion tank is a little bit low. Uh, especially, that's especially going to be handy because now the high point in my system is up here in these heaters. So got the diesel heater installed, tested it, installed it. Special shout out to uh, Tracks Off Grid for sending that to me. I appreciate it. It actually does work. However, I want to hook it up to a thermostat, so I'll have to do some more research on that to try and get the controls a little bit more situated on that. I've decided I'm going to make this area here in between the strut a chase for both wiring and controls and everything. So if I need to get wiring down under the bed, um, obviously the batteries and whatnot, they still have to come up here, but I'm gonna put a, uh, probably a stainless panel there and just make it a chase. It'll be a whole lot easier for me to just run all the wiring there and then just cover it up when I'm done and make like an access panel. Um, that'll kind of tie into this whole doghouse build that I have to do at some point, which is kind of, haunting me because there's a million different ways to do it and I, I want to figure out the best way what else can I tell you I've got uh, the wiper motors installed I ordered wiper arms but I'm not sure they're gonna be the right ones because for the ones that I want the information that's out there available for them is few and far between so we'll see what shows up um, as far as gauges go Come on camera. I added a pyrometer, a voltage gauge, and a 12 volt outlet, along with some indicator lights. So this will be the um, economy drive indicator light. That'll be the uh, overdrive indicator light. And then that's just a dummy light for oil pressure. I added those in. What else? Did get all this tied in, dump a little bit of coolant on the ground when uh, I hooked it up, but hopefully everything works out the way it should. I routed the hoses up above the uh, valve cover. I still got to put some extra tie wraps here to, to bind those together. Kind of like what I was doing here. I was just dressing them up, making them look neat. Got the uh, wiring panel started. I'm still waiting on a couple things to... Uh, get this finished up and they won't be here till either tomorrow or Saturday, depending on when they ship and uh, when they get here, basically. So there you can see, I tucked that hydronic heater away from uh, all the moving parts. I added a bracket to hold up the uh, coolant pump, the water pump. And uh, the wiring and the controls obviously end up up here at this panel. I think this is going to really work out well. Um, I'm really excited, you know, to just start basically doing all the wiring. But I got to get all the components installed before I can venture into that. I don't want to get started on it because then I backtrack, you know. I like to get all the wiring done. And then make sure I got everything I want and then I loom everything and support everything so that it's 100% and I don't have to worry about it again. I still have a couple more um, switches I want to install on the, the little transmission uh, panel there. What was the switch? I, oh, um, the overdrive and the eco drive switch. So I just got those today. I, I will work on getting those installed. What else? We're almost down to it here to uh, just start doing the wiring, but I want to make sure I got everything else buttoned up before I venture into that. So 
And I think that's probably going to be it for today's episode. That's uh, two and a half, three days worth of footage that I combined into one. I didn't do a lot of filming because I was really focused on getting some of this stuff done. Um, because Friday I have to go pick up steel for the tracks. And steel for another project that has to do with the trailer there that has to do with Rusty. Uh, and being able to haul Rusty around. So, with that being said, I hope you guys are staying safe out there. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. You're going to want to see the end of this build. And you're going to want to stay tuned for some of the adventures that we're going to go on with Rusty going to be a blast. I already know it's just going to be so much fun. But other than that, guys, take care. We'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.